Hey guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, <clears throat> sometimes we got to go on a company trip or, you know, family trip or whatever. And while <clears throat> it's great to have an Ultrabook, a, a laptop with you, 13 inches versus 27 inches, it's a lot easier to get done, you know, work done on 27 inches. So, let me kind of show you a little bit of a comparison here. First off, I'm going to turn on both at the same time. All right. <clears throat> kind of to show you also the, the boot speed, if anything, from my desktop, which does have an SSD, and my notebook slash ultrabook. All right, this guy's already booted up. There was no sleep involved. There was no nothing. It was totally off. And while I do have an SSD on my desktop, it's a PC. My desktop has a standard SSD. This guy has a PCIe SSD. It's a ton faster. So let me log in real quick. I got to use my password. So give me a sec. All right. And don't worry. I'm going to, you know, do boot tests and speed tests, you know, on this SSD. So you can truly see how fast it is. But either way. You know, I was writing this document while I was on my trip, and, well, I don't want to write it here anymore. I want to write it over here. And mind you, again, I can email it to myself. I can transfer it through USB thumb drive. I have a number of ways, but one of the accessories you could buy with this Ultrabook is the Dell adapter. Pretty simple name. It connects through USB Type-C, although... It's a standard USB port you can see here, and I'll give you pictures and everything. It provides Ethernet, USB 3, and then HDMI and VGA. What does that mean to you? Well, what that means to me is all I need to do is plug this guy in here to the USB port, plug an HDMI cable onto the HDMI port, wrong side. Right, and then all I need to do over here on my Asus PB287Q is come over here, switch the input settings, go to, there we go, go to HDMI, and now, bam, it's over here. So, all I need to do, just move it over here, mind you my desktop doesn't have a touch screen. I gotta use that, unfortunately. It's a little bit easier sometimes to use the mouse. But you can see, I'm over here now. I'm on the big screen. I'm not on my laptop. Well, I am on my laptop, but I don't have to work on this screen anymore. I can work on this screen. So, you know, I can use my desktop over here and I can <clears throat> open up Chrome over here. I might have to switch back because, well, I just got back from vacation. I haven't moved everything around. I had it on this screen before. So all I got to do is come back over here, switch it to DisplayPort. Just pop it over here. And just come back over here. And then switch it back to HDMI. So over here I could work. Over here I can play. Mind you, I'll work on this keyboard. I'll play on this keyboard. But you get the idea. You know, I could just move this keyboard over. Bring it over here. You know, I my options are pretty much limitless. Again, I can connect another USB port device. Maybe I'll grab another mouse. I should have one here somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but either way, I can grab another mouse, plug it in. I can use keyboard and a mouse, or I can get an external keyboard, external mouse. Or I can plug in a keyboard, you know, whatever I want there. So I have that one additional USB port, and then I have additional USB ports on the actual keyboard. 
And mind you, I don't only have to plug it into HDMI. If you don't have HDMI, you can plug it into the VGA. And then if you don't have good um, Wi-Fi, just plug in an Ethernet adapter here. And you're good. So, see, it's picking up signal already. <clears throat> and then just come over here. And now we're on Ethernet. Or now we're on Wi-Fi. So, just wanted to show you a little bit about, you know, this is not just a laptop anymore. You know, we're in the year 2016. This may not replace your desktop. Or it may. It's up to you, depending what you're going to use it for. But don't think about laptops from 2000 or 2009 even. You know, these can do so much more nowadays. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you some of the features that Dell XPS 13 has and then the Dell adapter. Alright guys, see you later.